Okay, this video is about drawing nets, and as we know, uh, a net basically is uh, what a three-dimensional solid looks like. Uh, if you were to unfold all of the sides and make it now a two-dimensional uh, object or shape. So uh, you'll see what that looks like in just a second, uh, but the uh, one of the main reasons of being able to draw a net is because it helps us to find the surface area of a solid, of a three-dimensional solid. And uh, when you're done, the net should have the same number of shapes as the solid had the uh, number of faces. So for example, in this rectangular prism there are six faces so essentially after we draw the net there should be six shapes and you want to make sure that also uh, those shapes have all of the same dimensions as all of the faces of the three-dimensional object. So let's get started. We can see here that uh, the base of this if you look at it just like it is uh, drawn here is a three by six uh, rectangle. So we can draw a three by six rectangle. Now we know that there's going to be two of those but we'll draw the second one in just a second. If we continue up and see well where would this face go if we were to unfold this this could go right here and this would be a six by eight because we see that the height was eight. Uh, whatever units are given could be centimeters or inches or uh, something along those lines. And then we have also the same face on the back so that would go here if we were unfolding the shape and then uh, there's a few different ways that you can do this if you want to do this this part right here we know that this is uh, of course again this was eight this would be a three by eight rectangle and so um, again you could if you wanted to you could draw that unfolding it out this way that would be one way to do this, but I'm going to do it a different way. I'm just going to put it right on this side and this side. And again, there's not a, that's not, uh, either one of those options would be okay, I guess you would say, but you'd want to label this as, uh, this would be three, this side right here, because that represents this, and then the length here would be the same eighth, and this is uh, three was the, this length and then you could put this eight out here I'm having trouble erasing the other eight but you'll get the idea and then let's see how many si uh, faces do we have now we have one two three four five faces so we're missing this original three by six base that would go on top so that would go right here three by six and then if you wanted to go back in and label all of these other dimensions that we left off, you can. So that would be what this uh, rectangular uh, prism would look like unfolded, and that is the net of that solid. Okay, let's try this triangle here. Let me just uh, pause the video. Okay, we're back, uh, and the same thing goes with this triangle on the bottom. We have a three, four, five triangle, so, oops, almost made a mistake. Uh, we can draw this. We know that a 3, 4, 5 triangle, or maybe you didn't know, is a right triangle. So I'm going to draw this right triangle as 3, 4, and uh, 5. That's this triangle here. And by the way, it is a right triangle. You don't have to put that out, I suppose. Uh, and then uh, unfolding this, it says the height is 6. So this back side would be a 3 by 6 so I could put this was already 3 and this length could be 6 that would be if I unfolded it that way and then uh, I suppose again there's a few different ways to do this but working my way around this would be a 4 by 6 rectangle in the back here and then in the front would be a 5 by 6 this is still 6 and this is the 5 so you can see if you folded uh, this corner up 
in and then folded all three of these over, that would make most of our figure, and we're missing one more side, and that would be the other uh, base, which would be five here, and again three here, and four here. Again, there are a few different ways to do this. I suppose if you wanted to, instead of putting the triangles here, you could have, and here, you could have drawn them like this, and that would have worked just as well. But as long as you have all of the same faces accounted for and you have to keep the dimensions the same you uh, it will be correct okay in my opinion these pyramids are a little easier uh, and maybe you'll see why in just a second so what we're dealing with here is I'm gonna just call this shape here a uh, pentagonal prism because it has five sides and I'm just gonna call this a regular Pentagon, and so each side is going to be seven uh, units, whatever units they chose. So I'm going to draw a, the best I can, a regular prism, and then all of these sides would be seven. And then you'll notice each uh, other face forms a triangle, and the triangle, uh, the slant height is ten. So all of these other triangles, I'm just going to make a star with all of these triangles which the slant height again would be 10 and then you can see that if you were to fold all of these up you would have a pentagonal prism and the same thing goes with this square based uh, square based pyramid here draw my 4x4 four four square okay yeah. since this is a square base and then the slant height is 6 so you can just see how that works. Obviously I didn't draw this to scale just freehanding it but you could use a ruler if you wanted to get it accurate. Okay last but not least is cylinders and these are uh, yeah, I guess they could be tricky but if you're careful I think you'd be okay. Uh, the cylinder on top we see that we have a radius of three so I'm gonna draw a circle and this label this radius as uh, radius equals three Oops, three, and then the height is five, and so actually what we're going to end up drawing here is a a rectangle. If you think of a soup can, the label would be a rectangle, and so the height uh, would be five. And then one important thing, I've already done the math for you, but if you did not have the circumference given to you, we know how to calculate the circumference if we have the radius. It's just two times pi times the radius, and so... I've already done that to make it a little bit easier for us, but if you did not have that given to you, then you would have to calculate that. And I found that the uh, circumference around this circle was 18.84. So that's how long my um, rectangle is going to be for these sides. And then last but not least, we see we have another uh, circle for the other side. So Probably the best place would put to put that would be somewhere uh, on the other side, and I would want to label that as a radius of three. Also, uh, on top, oh, that three didn't come out too good. Okay, the radius is three. And uh, same thing with the cone down here. Uh, I'm going to just use the same radius of three, just for the sake of demonstration. You'd want to draw that with a compass, maybe, and make it a little prettier than my all right there we go three and then uh, again we found the circumference of this circle to be 18.84 just use the same example so to keep the numbers easy and that is the distance all the way around this so you can if you imagine I don't know if you've ever seen those cone cups but if you were to unfold that it would look like a triangle and the slant height is six and then uh, the length from basically uh, from here to here would be what the circumference is because if you were to fold that up and then wrap it around you'd make that cone and so that distance again would be 18.84 okay hope that was helpful and uh, with some practice I think you'll be able to draw your own 
nets for your 3D solids. Thank you for watching.